Hello honey bunnies. Welcome back. It's me Jenny. How is everyone doing today? All right, we have another project that we're going to work together. We are going to try to make a decorative hoop artwork for the wall. Like a nice little pretty wall artwork using these hoop embroideries. Now, um, I had made a video a while ago on making a really cute simple wall decoration using these hoops and if you guys remember the video it was about these cute little adorable little cats i showed you guys how to create this like in no time literally in no time and um i think they turned out super cute i use these for my craft room i have them hung up and i just love how they turned out I'm going to link at the bottom of this video um, the tutorial that I did making these and um, you can get familiar. So I have here a um, few hoops that I am going to show you. These are embroidery hoops. You can really find these anywhere. I usually find mine at the thrift shop. I like buying them there because I kind of like, like the um, vintage look to the little uh, knob that closes the hoop but you can buy these anywhere you can buy these at um, you can buy these at Michael's any fabric store um, AC Moore Hobby Lobby you can really buy them anywhere and they're not that expensive and so it's very easy to open very easy to work with all you gotta do is just loosen it up here with this little knob that it has then you'll get a two part and you just basically work with these two parts so today we are going to create a nice simple little wall like a artwork using these um, and we're going to incorporate book pages of course right so you need a hoop for this project you need some fabric listen don't go crazy go into your closet if you don't have fabric at home Look at that shirt that you love, but it has a stain on it. Use the fabric for that. Um, if you don't have something to work with, an old t-shirt, that would also work. I have here this fabric that I really love. I was going to use this one, and then I, I decided to use more this, like, cotton, simple, pretty, beigey color. Just because it doesn't have any um, like background, it's just simple, and I think it's gonna work better for this project. I also have here some things that I'm going to include in my little hoop. I kind of fuzzy cut this adorable little mason jar um, stamped image. I've been stamping a whole bunch of these because I have a like a a concert that I want. Not a concert, but something that I want to submit to a company, and so I've been stamping a whole bunch of these. And I had extra, so I'm going to use one of these images to incorporate in here. Obviously, we're going to use book pages that I have here on the side of me. Um, as these. And then some, like, little knickknacks that I pulled on the side, like some buttons, some trim. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but we'll see. And then I have some die cuts here. I have some of these dimensional stickers that I love. Some of these things that I got at Michael's. We're going to need something to hang our little hoop frame. I have here twine, but you can use ribbon or whatever you want. And then I might use this little sign that I got at Michael's. We'll see, okay? So, very simple. Don't get yourself all worked out. This is a very simple project, okay? The first thing we're going to do is we need to measure our hoop. I'm using this like medium-sized hoop. It's pretty, I would say pretty big. And so I am going to measure it the size that I need for this to kind of cover. Because this is supposed to cover it like this. And then we're supposed to put the second half over it. See? Like that. See? See? So it's supposed to look something like that. So you need to obviously trim around it. So you can do that now if you want. You can trim around it if you want. What I'm going to do is I want to save as much materials as possible. So 
so what I want to do is I'm going to move this over this way okay I'm gonna try to save a little bit of this material because I hate wasting material okay so that's about right there okay I'm gonna temporarily put this over and see how this looks see and then I get to cut this little side over here and I get to save this little piece of fabric for like another project so that's what I'm gonna do first okay and then you're gonna just trim around this um, hoop you want to leave a little bit of space so you can kind of like fold over like this but you don't want to leave too much space right so just trim a little bit not too much just a little bit trim the leftover fabric you don't want to go too close because you want to be able to fold over the fabric into your hoop okay now that you have it like this now's the time for you to kind of like see how it looks here let me pull you in a little bit okay there we go see how it looks see what you like if you want to um tuck in a little bit you can i'm going to actually close this here okay make it a little bit tight I'm gonna close it and lock it okay and then I'm going to kind of squish a little bit the fabric so it doesn't have any crease make sure exactly how you want it is exactly what you see here see that and that looks just about right so Tighten it up a little. Okay. And what you're going to do is, now that we're going to, um, now that we have it all tightened up, you're going to kind of like glue this down, the leftover fabric. Okay. So, here I have my hot glue. I'm going to kind of glue this down, just like that. Just like that. So you just go around and glue it down little by little okay just like that If you feel that it's too long, like I feel these are a little bit too long, just go back in and trim it. And the whole idea is to go all the way around and tuck in your leftover fabric with your hot glue. Now you can do it with also, you know, regular glue, like regular fabric glue. That's also okay. It's up to you, really. Okay. And that's what you should get. See that? There you go. And now you can see this is coming along really nicely see that really pretty and nicely I like that okay perfect so now what we're gonna do is we're going to decorate our little hoop I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just gonna decorate it in a nice pretty way that I think it will look nice I'm gonna need to use some of my chipboard because I want to give some elevation to this um, hoop 
And so I'm gonna use my chipboard and I'm also going to use some of this paper. And I'm just gonna do sort of like a, I don't know, mixed media-ish kind of decoration, you know? Something crazy and fun. I'm using my book pages to kind of figure out okay there we go okay so let me hot glue this down that's pretty now my image where is my image here's my little image what are we gonna do with this image well I want to definitely give it some elevation right but I want to also back it on to my coffee paper here that I coffee and tea paper that I dyed so I do want to kind of add that in here so we're going to rip these like that okay and I'm gonna add some cardboard to this one as well okay. add some hot glue to that simple frame ish looking you know artwork you can hang it by your um, I don't know craft room if you want in your kitchen um, really wherever you want okay very good so we're gonna add that there and we're going to add this one right there see that's the idea that I'm going for. So I kind of like that idea. See that? But I want to add more, obviously. So I have all these flowers and all these wonderful things that I have here. Let's see how we can kind of add this so that it can look pretty at the same time. That looks pretty, right? Kind of like that. See that? That looks nice. Maybe we can add. See, I don't want to add too much. I want to kind of add buttons here. Um, that's the idea that I wanted to do is add some like pretty buttons on this side right here kind of like this button i would love to put this button here i should have brought my clippers let me see if i can cut this with this probably not Maybe I can. Don't try this at home, okay? Oh, I did. Yay! I like this button. I wanted to add that in there somewhere. Okay, I like the way this looks so far. So, let's, first of all, let's take this out. 
and let's glue down at least the backing which is this here I really like that there so let's glue this down and then let's glue this down there let's glue this down there okay and now we're going to you know what I would love to do I can add these trims it would be nice right maybe like mm, no because I don't want to cover let's see here no maybe we'll add this to our next project I like that those trims but I don't want to cover the coffee stain right there is so pretty to me um, do we need some dimension on this? What do you think? Maybe? Maybe we need some dimension on that. So it can kind of pop out a little. Let's, let's give it a little bit of dimension. Too big. Maybe a little bit smaller. Let's see. A little bit more. That's perfect. Okay, awesome. Yeah, let's add some dimensions on this mason jar. It's really, really cute. And with a little bit of dimension, it's going to really pop up, I think. And I think it's going to look nicer. See, it kind of pops up more. That looks awesome love that let's do that there you go see that it's pretty right i love that okay perfect now i'm gonna add this beauty back here just like so or maybe even here see that that's even pretty there i like that better See that we can add that like right there that looks pretty I like that okay so how we're gonna add a little bit of hot glue here just a little bit because you can see it just right there and then maybe a teensy bit of hot glue here perfect that looks beautiful you see that how pretty that looks so far so beautiful okay beautiful now the butterflies we said we were gonna add one here and we we're gonna add another one here right tucked in here like that and then the flower we we're gonna add it here Maybe we can add the flower like tucked in here like that. That looks pretty, right? Love it. Okay, let's add this butterfly. But you see how simple that was with a few little stickers, a few little die cuts, a few little newspaper, book pages magazine clippings you can do whatever you can do it however you want to do it just gives you an idea how simple it is to create something out of nothing see that I love those butterflies beautiful right I love it okay let's add this here before we add this flower let's see if we want to add different flowers I have this one that's really really pretty 
maybe we can add this one here and then maybe we can add this one in the center see that giving it some more prettiness going on but I want to add this button for sure so where am I gonna add this button I don't know but for sure I want to add this button somewhere maybe we can add it tucked in back here or maybe even back here mm -hmm. Maybe here, maybe we can add it here. That doesn't look bad either. Okay, I like this. Let me let me hot glue this one because I really love the way this one looks. Right there. Let me see if I have other. I might have. I like I like this flower, but. Let's see, maybe I can find something different, right? That's pretty too, but that might be a little too big. Okay, so let's see. Oh, my, 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 my. I forgot I had this. I forgot I had this here. These are more like butterflies. I think I have enough butterflies here though. I don't want to overdo it too much with butterflies. Hold on. What time is it? Ah, oh, we're doing pretty good timing. Let's see this one. Okay, you know what? Let's let's stick with these for now. I kind of like this anyway. I like this flower because I don't like this one too much. I like this one because the color is nice and soft. And you can kind of see these pop out a little, right? So let's hot glue this one down. Tuck this in like that, put it in between these two flowers, and there you have it. That's really pretty. And then I have this tiny, tiny little butterfly. Maybe we can, let's see, how about here? Maybe something like that. here got these that we can maybe put back here I really love this sparkly one so let's see maybe we can put the sparkly one here and then maybe we can put this one see I don't want to cover the page the book page back there because I think that that's the whole idea behind it is having the book pages but I do want to add some beautifulness going on here so that's that's about right I like that right there yeah I like that let's do that and it doesn't cover the book page which is what I don't I definitely do not want to cover it Let's do this little one right there. Okay, perfect. I think we're almost done. And then we have these, the button. I have to put this button in here. I love this button. 
I love it. So we have to add this button in here somehow. I'm thinking the button should go here. There, see? I like the button there. Kind of looks pretty, right? Yeah, let's do the button there. Right there. Kind of like the button there. Maybe we can put another button like right there so it can kind of you know kind of go together and he's not lonely right see no that's it two buttons and that's it i have this little tiny 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 butterfly and where shall we put this butterfly well we we'll shall see Maybe we can put this butterfly right there. But I kind of don't want this to cover too much. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the butterfly right there. See that? Right there. Yep. Right there sticking out perfect you guys see how easy this video or this tutorial was how cute is that you see that hoop embroidery hoop how beautiful that wouldn't that be awesome to put like in a room in your artwork like an art like an art gallery wall or something I love it so what I want to do next is I want to take some twine now you can use twine, you can use lace. I think lace will be nice to do because lace is a very pretty, you know, material and it always looks very, very fancy. But if you want, you can actually just um, first take a piece of this twine. I'm going to make a nice little bow. Okay, just like that, nice little bow. And I wanna tuck in this bow right here. See that? Right there. Right behind my mason jar. Right there. And then with the leftover twine, you're gonna basically Make a knot, okay? And then you're going to add this right in through the hoop so that you can hang it from the wall. Just like that. And then you're going to cross this over And then you have yourself a nice little, you can hang your beautiful artwork that you just created on your wall. You can add lace if you want, or ribbon, or trim, whatever you want. You can even add a little bow if you want there, however you want. But that's basically the idea. So you can hang it on your art, on your wall, and you can display your beautiful artwork. But did you see how beautiful that turned out and how simple with very, very little supplies? You saw that, right? We used um, a simple fabric. We used some really beautiful dimensional stickers, some beautiful flower stickers. This is a nice little stamped image that I fuzzy cut along with some book pages. Okay, I mean, literally beautiful. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy 
watching me make this lovely beautiful artwork using embroidery hoops and I hope you guys get inspired to create your own um, if you like this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up let me know what you guys think I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs up make sure you subscribe thank you so much for returning back to my channel thank you so much for your lovely comments please be safe out there and I love you all bye honeys have a fantastic weekend